Hey YouTube, I'm gonna be doing a couple of videos here. Cause I've got a couple of, uh, an hour spare here, so I try to do do a couple here. Uh, the first one is going to be <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Maple Ridge Armory. Um, they're basically the the Renegade. This is the Mark II version. Um, I picked this up a couple of months ago, brand new, um, and as you can see, I've added um, a Fairfield uh, scope. Uh, this comes with um, the zoom here. You can easier for zooming in and out. Let me just see. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that. Uh, highly recommend getting one of these. They're really handy. Also comes with. Um, A shade for the front sight so that you can screw that out that's a shade there shade cap um, well that's what I put on it I upgraded the uh, the handle and then uh, you know this is the uh, Magpul edition so it comes with this stock um, I also added uh, the Fairfield uh, laser and flashlight which is here I do have a tape here just because um, I've only used this I've only brought this gun once to the range to test it out and uh, the, these little screws here um, for the elevation and side to side uh, are very loose so in order to side it in um, I had to tape it there but I'm gonna have to use glue or something to glue it in place next time I take it to the range but um, <clears throat> you know I have it wired up for the um, for the sensor here. Where is it here? There we go. The touchpad. Um, you know, I find it really, really nice for home defense. Um, you know, and it is plugged in here. Uh, and I think, uh, I think that this one real retails for about. Uh, I forget what I paid for this actually. A couple of hundred dollars maybe. Two, three hundred dollars maybe. I can't really remember. Uh, I did upgrade um, the muzzle brake right here. Uh, what else? <clears throat> That's basically it. Uh, all the upgrades I put on. I have um, a sling attachment right here and I did put on uh, hooks right here uh, so let's get down to the actual firearm um, <clears throat> it, this is a 12.5 inch nitrate barrel um, it is a 223 chambered in a 223 and let me just clear this safe for you there's nothing in there I don't know if you can see that but there's no round in there um, yeah, I'm going to try to fire just to let you know, nothing in there, so this gun is cleared safe. <clears throat> um, I have, as you can see, I have done some little cosmetic work here and here. This is pretty easy, standard, just to, what was it again, I used uh, nail varnish and then you, you use acid, non-acetone nail varnish to remove the excess comes out pretty nice I do it to mostly all my guns as you can see there um, <clears throat> so what do I think of this rifle uh, I really like this rifle I'm gonna give it uh, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 and a lot of people you know in Canada you'll either hate this gun or you'll love it uh, just because with the with the laws in Canada banning AR-15s, uh, this is a straight pull, obviously, so it fires one round um, manually, and then you have to cock it back and cock it back and load it uh, each round. As you can see, I've done there, so it's not full auto; it's manual, so one shot at a time, but. You know, <clears throat> it doesn't really bother me. A couple of seconds to, to you know, load the other round into the chamber. 
you're really going to be in that much of a rush you know, and the fact that you can take practically an AR-15 uh, out to the bush it's non-restricted is <clears throat> one of the reasons I bought it because uh, you know typically before the ban you had to um, you know you had to go with your AR-15s you had to go from from your residence to the gun range and then back again and it was just <clears throat> it's fun but kind of pointless because you don't get to take it out to the bush like this one um, and only for the ban coming in uh, this one had been produced so you know in a, in a way I guess you know you gotta to gotta find the good and everything so you, know, you can take this out to the bush with you and, and camping and whatnot and it's perfectly legal and it takes everything an AR-15 would take so if you got your you got some high-end uh, AR-15 sitting in your safe that you cannot bring out you can swap them over and, and have a really nice <clears throat> high-end rifle uh, you know it takes all uh, AR-15 parts your bolt carrier your handles your mags um, you know every, your stock everything an AR-15 will take it will take and, uh, yeah, I've decided to make this video because, um, I think there's, there's not many, many videos of these guns here, um, on, on YouTube there, so, uh, there I was flicking through a couple of months ago and I did come across a guy that had one of these, a little bit different to my one here, and, uh, he had a Mark 1 version, this is a Mark 2 version, um, and, uh, as soon as I seen it, I instantly wanted to buy it, just because, like I said, it's the closest thing you're going to get to an AR-15, and it's non-restricted, so why not, you know? Um, this retails, I think, for about uh, $1,400 <clears throat> Canadian, I think, stock. Uh, you know, this, this one here is sitting sitting at about 2500 me right now, just with the handle, the scope, the laser, everything else. That's about two and a half, maybe two, 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 three, maybe. Um, but again, I don't, I don't regret it. It's, it's definitely fun to shoot. Um, and in case there's people that is left-handed, uh, <clears throat> this bolt here can change over to either right or left uh, side. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and that's. Uh, that's pretty much it. I am going to try and post um, a video of me shooting this in the range with this video if I get time to edit it. As I'm doing quite a few videos tonight, you can uh, subscribe or hit like or hit me up in the comments. Uh, I do. I'll be posting. Um, <clears throat> I used to be posting a lot of videos, but I haven't done it uh, since COVID and stuff. So I'll get, get, be posting more uh, soon. So I'll hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, any questions uh, about this rifle? Do you think about buying one or whatnot? Uh, hit me up. Um, like I said, it shoots it shoots very accurate and great fun um, to shoot. I and mean, it, it takes, you know, it comes down same as your AR-15. Uh, you got the pin right here, breaks down the same thing, folds in half. Um, you yeah. know, just pop up like that. I'm going to take the mag out. Again, I'll just dry fire here. Yeah, so I'll give you a little picture over here. That's the, the laser. I will just turn it on for you and turn out the flashlight. This is very bright. It's kind of hard to see right here, but let's see. It is perfect for home defense. And then uh, you got your laser here also. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, the Renegade Mark II version, Maple Ridge Armory. This is a 12.5 inch uh, rifle. You know. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, quick little video. Like I said, I'll try and, uh, I'll try and put in the uh, video of me shooting this thing. But uh, definitely recommended um, for a low budget rifle. 
uh, and uh, it, it's perfect for any collection that if you're a collector just buy one they're, they're always good to have and fun to shoot uh yeah any questions um hit me a comment or subscribe or whatever i'll try and answer them thanks for watching